So the other day, the other day I was fishing a parachute cool Gordon. And um, I did pretty good with it. I only had one of them though. Only, only one. It was on the rod. And I remember when I was looking at it, I said, what is that tail made out of? And I couldn't figure it out. But I was fishing, so I really didn't concentrate that much. But it kind of looked like bronze mallard. Now, I don't have the fly anymore. Um, you'll find out at the end of the video why I don't. But, um, so I had nothing to check it with. But I'm fairly certain when I looked at it, it looked like bronze mallard. So, that's what, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to tie this cool Gordon parachute with bronze mallard as a tail. Now, hook. Hook is this. 14 all-purpose dry. These are great value. 50 in a package is 8 bucks. They catch big fish. In fact, that day uh, I caught an 18-inch rainbow. A wild rainbow, not a stocked rainbow. And it was a fight for a while. If you catch a wild rainbow, you know how strong they are. An 18-inch rainbow is a lot stronger than an 18-inch brown. And this thing fought me forever and 14, size 14, all-purpose dry, came back, and it was there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. The fly was mangled. It was a red quail that was destroyed, but the hook was good. Um, so I like them a lot. I used them, I've been using them now two seasons. I love them. This is my third season. Uh, thread, 12 Giorgio Benici. Okay, the tail. Tails, bronze mallard. Now the one I'm I'm using here, this one's almost done, but the one I'm using here is not a lot of bronze, which make which means you get a lot of modeling, right? You see that that black and white, and, and you can get that with Cacoleone, obviously, but this is a softer one, and I'm fairly certain I was not using Cacoleone, I was using this, so just means it's going to soak up a little bit more water and it's going to make the fly sit a little bit lower. If you want it to sit higher, use use a cocktail and it has the same sort of look. Now, peacock eye. Uh, these ones that I got are pretty bad, but um, I only really got about this much. See that? Now I like to tie it on with the with the thinner side, and this is the p the part that that reaches the stem, right? That touches the stem, so it kind of gives a little bit of a taper. Um, and try to avoid touching these things if at all possible, because your hands, especially if they're dry, if you touch them, make sure that your hands are wet, because your dry hands will just suck the moisture right out of these things, and they'll break. I mean, that's really what it comes down to, a little break. So I really try to avoid touching them. Now, the hackle pliers that I use, I use the teardrop hackle pliers. That's, and the reason is, is because you see, I just dropped that and it didn't break. It's these hack, these teardrop ones, they're super light. And, um, I mean, absolutely super, super light. So it's it's you're not gonna it's enough to make it you know obviously hang nice but it's not gonna break the quill. You know what? Maybe I can get one more turn here. So, two turns there. Take this off. Clip this. And we'll just go up. That's alright. Now, I'm you saw I didn't use super glue. I don't use super glue. Oh, we got a we got a we got a broken tail. Now, I didn't use any super glue. That's because I'm going to put UV on top of this, but I'm not going to do it now. 
I'll do it when I do the post. Now the post is CDC. I usually use like a light done or a white, something that I can see. And just just a single CDC feather is what I use. That's just three turns. Make sure it's on top. Fold it. Thread to the back. And then I go around until the two halves meet and then I go back down. There we go. And I don't cut it now, I leave it long. Sometimes though these stragglers you can take off. That's fine. Now the hackle is a dark done. That's what I use. You use a light done too. Um, I don't think it matters too much. Just bring that in. And now I post it with this hackle. Because I want the stem of the hackle. Now I'm just going high enough, that's really it. I'm not trying to make it rock solid right now with the thread. The reason is, is because that's not what's going to hold it up. It's the UV, because I'm going to UV this. But let's say you don't want to use UV. Well, you see how the direction I'm going with the thread? Well, if you, if you do that a bunch of times, you tie off on the shank and then you go back the opposite way, that will, that like makes the turns fight each other and it, and it, it makes it pretty solid. But I'm a UV guy, especially when I got a a um, a, um, a coil body. It really makes it really convenient. So all I do is is that I put it on here and then I bring it up into the into the post. And this is a little bit too much here. And the weight. I mean, I would not worry about the weight at all. Now let's take a look at how this thing. I don't really care too much about the direction. I just like to. I just turn it on and that's it. Now I, I don't know what that is. That's like five turns, six turns. Now I do these a little bit differently than I used to. Um, here's what I do now. Uh, I got whatever I got, five or six turns. And I bring the hackle on my side, and I have the thread, and it's on your side. And all I do is, I think it's on your side, yeah. I catch that hackle on the post with mm, three turns, right? And then I let it let it go. So now I got the the waist end of the hackle on on my side, and thread on your side. And I I, I put them together. I put them next to each other, and I hold them. And then I take this hackle that I turned on and I lift it up and I try and make a space there. And then I get my whip finisher and I don't, try, I don't catch my tail. And I put in three whip finishes right in there. Now if you notice this this waist is still in there. I have the thread, it's tight. You can very easily just just break it off. No problem. Then I go get some dubbing. This is what I use, just this dark hair's ear mask. Just a little bit, you don't need much. Now this is this can be a little bit tricky, but yeah you just gotta just practice it. I have the dubbing on the thread, and I have it. I have the th the thread and the dubbing in my my left hand. I go back to this hackle, and I I basically squeeze and lift everything up. And then when I do that, I slide this dubbing. I bring it to the back, and then to the front. So basically I'm trying to catch all the hackle in. And 
if you if you miss a couple, like I think I missed some in the back, you can just do it again. And then tie off the rest of the dubbing in front. I get my head cement if I want to use it. Throw a little bit on that thread. Do a whole bunch of turns. And we're good. Now, obviously the hackle is 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 very out of place here but that's okay this is why we left this post long if you grab the post you'll just be able to bring those haggles down into place again that's it and I like that dubbing because it, it, it really it looks like legs once you have those in place you just cut that off that's that this color is great for sighting the fly. That's why I like it. White or 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 uh, you know light done. You can see that from a mile away. And honestly, I got to be honest with you. Something about this. Use whatever color you want. If pink is the easiest thing for you to see, use pink. It's not going to make a difference to the fish. I, I'm telling you right now. Don't even worry about that. Um, just just use whatever you want. I mean, if I had pink CDC, I'd use it. That's it. So, so cool, Gordon parachute. It, um, it, it, it's a. I think it's a great fly for a lot of different hatches. Anything really small, it's going to work. I mean, it's going to sit. It's going to sit so deep in the water. I mean, it, they're going to have. They have a hard time refusing that when it's right up their nose. You know what I mean? Um, so. So sitting sitting low, that's one of the reasons why I like those curved hook flies. The curved hook flies are great. Because uh, it just sits so low and the tail is just hanging down in their face. And this tail is going to hang down really low as well because it's it's soft. It's going to soak up water. So that's it. Cool Gordon parachute. Thanks. Okay, solo mission. Solo mission. Just me and the boat. And I am going alone is uh, a lot harder than going with somebody that knows what they're doing. Because I, for one, do not. I know what it is. That I can do, but Rowan, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a beginner. in the bushes there, I yanked it out. And nothing. No. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's off. And he's off. So let's see what happened. Was it my knot? Uh, let's take a look. Yes, it was. All right, and that's a good start.
that's a good start. Yeah, so that was a 5X to a, to a 6X. I forgot that I had 6X on. That was a, yeah, it was an okay fish.